moving reckless. I snatch you right out your Lexus. I'm moving blocks like it's Tetris. A hundred thousand by breakfast. Welcome back. Okay, so we touched on the NFL, but we got to touch a little bit on college football. Mm -hmm. So Deion Sanders has an interesting coaching practice. During spring practice, he made the Colorado players wear blank jerseys to earn their numbers. And he said number zero is off limits because that means you're nothing. What are your thoughts? Mm. I'm going to let him start this one off. Number zero is off limit because that means you're nothing? Yeah. Nobody has a number on their jersey. You got to earn your number. But well, zero is completely off limits. What about his son? His son got a number. <laughs> How you know his son got a number? <laughs> I do my research. His son so got what, a number. So his son got a number already. His son got a number. What's his son's number? I think 12. So, so his son has a number, but you're saying nobody has a number. And the statement that you're saying or what you did the due diligence on... Mm -hmm. Nobody has a number. Do they mention his son? It does mention his son. I don't know if he, I mean, the other players now know that his son got to keep his number from Jackson State. So that's what I'm so saying. So then his yeah. son has a number, right? Yeah. I'm not Everybody making this up. I'm not, I'm earning. nobody saying you're making, making this yo, up. I'm, yo. I'm trying to make I'm sure. I'm not making this up. Anyway, I'm trying to make sure I understand yeah. shit. That's all I'm trying to do. Just you, think of a whole You're trying to be field. right about some shit that's no Just shit that could be right about. Just think of a whole field of blank jerseys. And one nigga got a number. In this. <laughs> I'd be tight. I can't lie. I'd be tight. <laughs> Everybody got to fight for that number. <laughs> one nigga walk out with his number. <laughs> what are you going to say? He's in Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Yo, I so what you going to say? That yeah, it's Yo. crazy. Now that is wild. <laughs> yo, I'm, yo, this is why I'm asking questions. Yo, I'm dumb confused right now. What you mean fight for the number though? Wait, football fight or like a, a fucking or a, a, a fucking a you gotta gang earn fight? Your number. You know how people people may play wide receiver. They want to wear twenty one or somebody favorite number may be number one. You got to prove you need that number one. What if it ain't no conflict? Like, oh, I'm cool with whatever number. <laughs> you be 83. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck. I ain't got time to compete. I bust ass in whatever number you give me, my nigga. I don't know, man. That, that's why I was asking because it sounds crazy. So nobody has a number, but they got to fight for the number. But it got to be... Football, like a football fight, and but so Shador got number two. <laughs> <laughs> so what Shador just said? He got that? to keep. That's what she said. He got to keep his number, yeah, right? From Jackson, From Jackson State. State. Yeah. And he got. Now that I think about it. I followed that nigga. That nigga got number two on the chain. Oh, like I think he got a it's two too tattoo. Late for him. It's too, it's too no, late for him. It's too late for him to wear number three. I didn't want to get over in Colorado to take number two. Yeah. It'd be a fight with him and his father, nigga. Oh, man. Yeah, man. But, um, hey, Dion, I don't... I don't yeah. listen, listen, for me, I'm just trying to understand. Anything you do, Coach Prime, yeah. nigga, I believe in you, nigga. Get them niggas right, my nigga. Get them niggas right out there. We got a lot of shit to prove. Right. No. They've been yeah. doubting us, nigga. Coach Prime, let's go. We got a lot of shit to prove this year, man. I ain't got time for that shit. Let's go. Whatever tactics you need to do to get these little niggas ready, go do it, my nigga. Yeah, one of the one of the players said they quit in the middle of the practice. I mean, nigga, you know what we got for him? The portal. Get on fuck on out of here, nigga. Ship <laughs> yeah. his ass out of here. He ain't tough enough. Put him, in the put him in the portal. Yeah, portal him back the way he came from, yeah, man. You ain't said, tough enough, my nigga. That's what they were saying in the comments. They said, you know, we don't need no quitters anyway. <laughs> <laughs> fuck on out of here. Yeah, we don't need no quitters. Yeah, man. I believe in Coach Prime. Big shout out to you and First about first of all, shout out to everybody Jackson State as well. Mm -hmm. I know y'all gonna miss Coach mm -hmm. Prime, but uh, shout out to what he's doing now over there in Colorado. I wish y'all the best of luck, man. Yeah, for real. Yep. Shout out to Coach Prime. How many games do you think he's gonna win? Listen, this ain't an overnight process, <laughs> man. Trust yeah, the yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Philly. a trust, trust the process, yeah, man. Philly 2017. Yeah, yeah, let's, let, yeah let's trust the trust process. Trust the process. Yeah, man. So uh, They I, need a new T-shirt out in Philly. I thought about that. Yeah, I was thinking about a lot of people. You know, I'm not going to say and say I'm the biggest college football expert, but from what I've been hearing, 
there's about a three to two to three, four year process going yeah. on. This ain't gonna be overnight. Now, if it does happen overnight, then they, we cooking, baby. Prime time. We baby. cooking, baby. Yeah. Nigga, you made magic happen. Nigga, only nigga hit a home run and scored a touchdown same week, nigga. Fuck yeah, you talking I mean, about, nigga. Fuck must you be the about. money. Must be the money. I wanted them <laughs> Deion Sanders sneakers so bad, man. Yo, shout out to Coach Prime. I hope it works out though, bro. Yeah, it got to work out. Mm -hmm. yep. And over here, we're trusting the process. Okay, so previously we spoke about E40, but also on the topic of celeb pop-ups at games, yeah. Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan are hosting a celebrity basketball game ahead of the Miami Grand Prix. What do you think about them popping out like that? They were hosting the game? They're going to. Oh, going to the game. You got to clear that up because I don't, it just sounds crazy already. Larsa Pippen was going, she's already dating him, right? Yeah, but they're going to so host a celebrity basketball basically game. Basically, yeah. they're going to be hosting an event together. Mm. What I have to say about it is this. I just want to know seriously, not, not even being funny or anything like that. What's the end game? <laughs> like, what for real, what's the end game? Because you don't really, really want the nigga. <laughs> we know he got unlimited money. He going when it's over. He gonna have unlimited money, but you, you know, you you raise shmurda this shit. You ain't got no type. Who would yeah. you go with future? <laughs> then you go with Mike son and what's your type, bitch? Do you got a type? I'm not trying to say <laughs> you got to stick to one thing, but you all over the place, man. You every nigga that you were seen with looks nothing like the last nigga. You were seen with. I don't know, man. At the maybe end of the day, maybe I, she just jumping from lily pad to lily pad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is this frog? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. She yeah. sees something better. She just leaped to that. Sometimes it ain't even about nothing better. This bitch is real live human trolling. This is a called mm. human trolling. No internet, no nothing, nigga. Just body counts for trolling. Tro trolling, my nigga. Because at the end of the day, they got kids together, right, yeah. Scotty? Like, yo. Yeah. A bunch. Yeah, I think she had to put in. I did what I had to do. Let, yeah. let mommy do what she got to do, my nigga. Because at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, son in the league. Yeah. It's crazy that you troll like this. <laughs> I don't understand on this level. And the whole thing is, I will say this. She do got to tight rappers and athletes. Yeah, she, she got it tight. She got it tight. I'm wilding. Yeah. You got it tight. My bad. Mm -hmm. As long as them, they they popping, rapping, uh, athletes. But then again, Mike Jr. Yeah. ain't no real athlete. He and, tried. And Beasley. <laughs> yeah. You know, right? Yeah. Look, that's the other athlete I'm talking about. Now she said, I'm going to where the forever money is because... <laughs> When Mike going, he get it. When, yeah. And when and you know what happened? When he going, she get it. Well, you what if she just trying to stay alive, you know? She just want the young blood. <laughs> Yo, man, what's this stepbrothers? Fuck is she talking <laughs> about when niggas say she want the young blood? Some <laughs> people say young people make them feel alive. I'm not saying that that's not true, but why you don't go get a nigga who work at the post office? That's true too. Yeah. Probably in better shape, everything carrying boxes and shit all day. <laughs> You know what I mean? But you know what type of young nigga you want. Period. I'm done with her. Go host your fucking event. I don't know who you try in front of with the Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. I think it's a Jordan event, and I think what she's trying to do it's is start. It's a Jordan event? I don't know. I think if it's, it's a, a Jordan, Jordan event, event, we got to look that up. Because yeah. if it's, it's a Jordan, Jordan event, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, because she said, I seen the interview she did. She said, Mike signed off on shit. You seen that? <laughs> no, she no. said that. She said, I spoke to Mike. We all we hung out. He said, he cool with it. Yeah. I said, Mike. Mike said that. That's why Scotty was got his hair braided. But he, oh, he on some thug Scotty shit. On Scotty on OTF yo, time yo, now. Yeah, it's all <laughs> yeah. when I see you. Scotty yo, called Mikey. It might be a yeah, situation. At the end of the day, that's to me. This is really Mike getting back, Scotty. You won't give me my props, never, huh? You keep saying LeBron better than me. Yeah. I bet. Son, get I put my yeah. son on a nigga like that. Son, Same he son. probably called his dad like, Dad, you know, I don't want you to hear from nobody mm -hmm. else. Right. Yeah, he wanted um, that. that type of joy. Larsa is, Larsa, me and Larsa is hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike said, who is Scotty? <laughs> Do that. Yeah, yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. It's a fact. That. That's a fact. 
And then Scotty called. He said, yeah, this, this nigga calling me right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, Scott, you think Scotty called Mike about it? I think if he did, I think Mike looked at the phone like when he was laughing at Gary Payton when Gary yeah. Payton on Last Dance said he could stick him. Mike, Mike was looking at the iPad laughing when Gary Payton said, yeah, we had Mike. <laughs> like yeah. Mike said this nigga here. <laughs> I think that's how he's looking at the phone. I don't think he fuck with nobody. Once you go against Mike, it's on forever. Yeah, Scotty was probably getting his head braided. One side was braided while that was going on. Said, yeah, braid the other side. That nigga looked bad, too. He going he OTF now. He, he looked bad. Well, that'll be an interesting event that they'll be at. But on another note, it looks like the City Boys are up. After Paris Saint-Germain soccer player Hakimi won a divorce settlement. His wife was seeking a divorce and half of his wealth, but she walked away with nothing. Hakimi has no property under his name because he put all of his fortune under his mother's name. Hakimi is 24 years old, but worth more than $70 million dollars. After finding out the news, his 36-year-old ex-girl stated she has no attachment to material things. Then why the fuck you want half? Fuck you mean? Yeah, you, why would yo, you? Yo, no, because the money ain't material. The money ain't material. <laughs> money, I ain't got no money. Oh, and you lost. <laughs> niggas, 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 niggas shitted on you, man. I ain't give a fuck anyway. You know, I, ain't, I ain't give a fuck anyway. You I didn't a, need the money you, anyway. You're not material thing, but you wanted 35 yeah. million. That man 70 million. <laughs> Find out his mom got the shit. Now you ain't you don't give a fuck about material shit. Nah, bitch. <laughs> the shit didn't work out. Kimi and them niggas was on your ass, man. They knew your ass. And you know what's crazy? That's one of them joints in your mother. You need to watch out for that you girl. You need to put uh, it in my name. name. <laughs> yeah, he got that mother. <laughs> bitch. He had the right, mo- right mama. She said, right. I know what's going on. Right. You love her today. Yeah. Tomorrow you might not love her. That's put it fact. in my name. name. Trust me. <laughs> and if and, and if you win her by the time you're 30, I give it back. <laughs> How old are you, 24? <laughs> bitch ain't even make it to 25. That bitch went crazy, yeah, man. That's Listen. Crazy. Like she says, city boys up 10 million, <laughs> nigga. Because yeah. niggas tried to steal 35 million. Yeah. How long was they together? Three minutes? I think it was like two years, but. Yeah, three yeah. minutes. <laughs> exactly. You gonna take 30. You you wasn't Shout shrimpy. out to his mama. What's her name? I don't have a mom's name. Yo, bitch, yeah, you wasn't she, with me kicking on the yeah. field. Come on, fuck are you talking about? You ain't getting no shit yeah. splints with him. Yeah, how you motherfucker gonna take 35 million for two years of service? Get the fuck out of here, man. That kid been kicking the soccer ball price since he's four years old. You come around when he's 22, 24, you want half. You lost. Mom was on it. Mm-hmm. Bye, ho. <laughs> Need more mothers like that. Yeah, yeah, Mom Duke. Shout out to Mom Shout Dukes. Shout out to Mom Dukes. Word. And I got to ask, how do you think his mom feels when that news came out? She taking 10 million. <laughs> yeah, she, she I'll She's be like, like, I saved you. Yeah, I saved Give me 10. Yeah. Give me 10. Give me ten. Give me ten, and and that's fair. She could ask for half of the half. Yeah, give me the half you was gonna give her. Oh, give her, give me half of the half you was gonna give her. She's she going to thirty five <laughs> yeah. million. Give me seventeen yeah, five. For real. Period. So you got to throw mom something. Well, all I can say is shout out to his mom. But that's all the time we have for today. Hold Thank- on, real quick, Stat Baby. <laughs> Hold on, Murder. I just want to give Stat Baby Treasure her real name Wilson a big congratulations yeah. on. Journalist of the Year, tell them more about it and why you're <laughs> Journalist of the Year and where you're Journalist of the Year at. Yeah, okay, so hey everyone. I attend the University of Miami. Um, I'm studying broadcast journalism and I did win the NAACP Image Awards for Journalist of the Year. Hey. 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 Yeah. I do work really hard, so I appreciate all y'all for the positive comments, tuning in. Obviously, this is a great show to film, so thank you. Yeah, really so we're it. just saying this on here. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Notice when you start fucking with us, not saying you've been doing, ain't been doing your thing. <laughs> that's shit. true. Wars come in, so if niggas try to steal you, give me the heads up to try to re- renegotiate with you. But congratulations, Good man. Point. We're happy I for you, man. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you Word, so much. Man. Yeah, and shout out to them because... Yeah. Shout out to them. Um, That is all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Stay tuned for the next. So how haven't you ever seen the movie Friday? Y'all, I've seen it maybe once at the hair salon. I just never went back and watched it. Like I, my parents did not play that when I was growing up. 
So you saw it or you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've Yo. seen it once, but you couldn't. I could not recite anything that happened. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness. See, they finna come at me. They finna come take my black car. Black car. Go so. watch Boys in the Hood. Menace to Society. Menace to Society. Friday. Friday, next Friday. All the Fridays. Yeah. Okay. Um. Wait, so what's y'all say? Paid in full. What's the, what's the first full. one I need to watch? Have you ever seen Paid in Full? Oh, my You don't God. even know who you up here with, Okay. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keep it honest. Don't this watch that. This is so bad. You I'm going to just be like, far as gone. I can't even say yes because y'all are going to ask me specific <laughs> may, questions. You may, you may look at me totally different after you see that. Well, I know yeah. because the Pat Bev's talking about some. He, oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, how yeah, I, okay, I, I can forgot. catch on, but. All right. Oh, you keep goodness. doing your black girl magic on the <laughs> NAACP awards. <laughs> Fuck it. Don't watch, not, don't watch none of this shit because, because you wouldn't have won the NAACP awards <laughs> if, you watched all them, if you watched all them shits that we was watching. Yeah. That shit would have yeah, thrown right yeah. off. <laughs>